Hi Crocheters of the World! In this tutorial I want to show you how to crochet the uh, broomstick lace without the broomstick uh, in a chevron um, version, let's say. Now, broomstick lace without a broomstick because I always, I already, sorry, uh, did the tutorial of how to work the broomstick lace without the broomstick. It's so easy and lovely and I also have a shawl with it and uh, there will be uh, more projects with this beautiful stitch. Now, I am presenting you in this tutorial a version of this stitch with a chevron um, shape, let's say. Now, all that you need is yarn and depends on the project that you want to work with it. Uh, you can work shawls, scarves, or blouses and so on. Now, uh, you for the broomstick lace uh, without the broomstick and the shawl that I already did with it, uh, you have the links of it uh, below this tutorial, in the tutorial at and at the end of this tutorial. Uh, so you can just watch them. It's really easy. It's really nice, and uh, you will like it. For this new version, you will need a multiple of twelve plus six which means that you will put groups of 12, uh, 12 chains for the width that you want for your project and at the end of this you will put six more, add six more. Okay, if you want to work it in round you just leave out this six more, so you put only 12 for a neck warmer actually or I don't know, a, a, a bag, summer bag, something. Okay, now what we want to do here is to work one more. So I have here 12, 12 plus 6. I have uh, 24, 30 uh, plus 6, 30 uh, chains. And now we will begin with a uh, single crochet row, which means we will chain one more just to work into the last chain. So just to begin into the last chain of the multiple plus, plus 6. Uh, with the first single crochet and then we will just continue on working in each of our stitch one single crochet until the end of this row and then I will be back to show you actually how to work the stitch. So I finished my first round of single crochets and now we will begin by pulling up loops for the broomstick lace. So chain one and turn. Insert hook into the very first single crochet and like this pull up a loop. Now this is our... Now for this how to work actually the broomstick lace without the broomstick I have already, as I said before, I already have the tutorial so just watch it. Now I am just focused on how to work it in chevron style, okay? Now I will just pull up loops for this first step, okay? And of course we want the loops to be the same. So I will keep the finger here like this. Go on, pulling up loops until the end. Leave them out, take only the last two for the uh, length and continue on with this step. I finished, I have all my uh, loops and now I will turn again my work and just watch now how I am working. Just one loop at the time, yarn over, keep it here firmly, chain and insert hook again and work one single crochet into the second, exactly the same, one single crochet into the third, one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. And again, one by one, each of the next three loops, 
take them and work into them into each of them one single crochet now I will take six on my hook three the next six three I have my next six yarn over pull through all and single crochet and these two steps I will uh, repeat until the end so now first step work one by one one single crochet into each for three then work a chain of three and again three more one by one one two three and now the second step work three four five and six together we will finish always with three chain three 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 work separately as I am working here chain three and three more work separately chain three and three more oh I have one I don't know why Maybe I put one more, but I will work them like this, so I will include it into the, um, in my work. So maybe I put one more chain when I, it was just a mistake, you, you must have three at the end. So this is my very first uh, row of the pattern. And from the second, so I am speaking of one row when I finish the single crochet step because we have the step when we pull up the ring, the loops, and then the second step when we work them. More or less, it's as for the Tunisian crochet. We have two steps to complete it one to complete one row. Okay, and this was the first row the first step of the first row uh, first row of uh, of the pattern and now from the second we will begin with the row that we will have to repeat for the length that we need okay I am ready to begin my next row of the pattern so I will chain I will turn insert hook into the first single crochet and work my first loop that gives me the length okay of the others now into the next single crochet work another one into the next work another one and we are at the chain three around the chain three we will always work six loops two three four five and six okay now I will work one into the next single crochet one into the second and one into the third and now I am here where I work the single crochet where I worked all six together with the single crochet now this single crochet I will skip and I will skip again on my first group of three one two and three Okay, then I am again into the chain three where I am working six, two, three, four, five, and six. And I will just continue on like this. Take only two, and so took into the next single crochet, work one single crochet, into the next one single crochet into the next one single crochet and I will skip this single crochet where I work six together and I will skip again on my next sequence with three single crochet chain three and three single crochet and into the chain three work six one two three four five and six and the last three 
one, two, and three. This was the first step of our second round row, sorry, of the pattern. So now here I am, I am ready to begin my second step of this row and this will be the chamo, uh, let's say, sorry, uh, let's say the step that we will repeat. There is just one more thing I will show you into the next row. So we will begin from here for the length that we want. We will begin and finish always with three together. So one, two, three. Take the yarn yarn over pull through and chain one again pull through all and single crochet so three together now we have the six loops that we worked into the chain for these six loops we will work them open so one by one three one two three Then chain three and again the same thing for the next three. Always the six worked into the chain of the previous row are worked like this. Into the previous yes row are worked like this. Three one by one. Chain three and again. And the next three plus three we will will be worked together one two three one two three on one side and on the other side of this one that we skipped that is the single crochet where we work together into the previous row and again these are the six that we worked into the chain three and here we work one two and three don't forget to chain three and again one two and three then six together three on one side three on the other side of the six that we worked together on the previous row this is the single crochet that we skip when we pull up loops into the first step of each row and now again we work one two three here we are on the six that we worked into the chain three we chain three and we work three more and we must have three more loops as i said before we finish we begin we finish with three together single crochet so from here actually you can see our nice pattern chevron pattern now I said that there, there are two more things that I have to say to you so one more thing sorry chain one and we will repeat exactly as we did into the second row this row that we uh, finished okay but we work we will always work a loop into the first single crochet we will skip the single crochet don't forget about it skip the single crochet and work a loop into the next and into the next because we always must have three loops on one side and three loops on the other to work them together okay into the second step so we will always skip the second to last at the end but let me just show you then for the rest we just continue on as we uh, did before into the chain three we work six three four five six then we have one by one single crochet one two and three we skip the single crochet that we joined the six together into the neck into the previous row and we continue on with three two three until the next chain three and into the next chain three we know we work six so 
we continue on until the end of the row. One, two, three, one, two, and three. Let me just be sure that I have three here. I have six here, sorry. Now I am at the end of the row and as you can see here we have four single crochets. I will take only two to get the length. Keep them tightly. And I will work only three, like this. One, two, skip the second to last single crochet and into the last work one more. Okay, so this is the last thing that I wanted to say so for you to have a perfect um, perfect stitch to work. Okay, from now on we just have to repeat this and into the second step as I said before we just work three together and then we continue on like this. So three together, chain one and the single crochet. Then on the chain three we work one by one, three, then we work chain three, one, two, three, we work one, two, three, and then we work three to, uh, six together, three on one side, three on the other side of the single crochet that we skipped. The single crochet. We continue on until the end. Only this is very important. So to work three together into the first step at the beginning at the end of each row, into this step and into the single crochet step, you will, so when you pull up actually, sorry, pull up actually loops, you will skip the second single crochet so you won't pull up loop into the second and into the second to last. I finished the third row, actually one, two, three, the second of the sequence to repeat, okay, so was this one and now this is how we just have to continue on. Don't forget into the first step when you work the uh, this is the first step of a new row, the step when we work together, when we work the loops. Don't forget to skip the first single crochet, the second single crochet and the second to last. Okay, don't forget this. And into the second step when we work the single crochets, don't forget to work three together, three loops together and three loops together at the beginning and at the end of each row and for the rest it's really easy. So this is the way you can work the broomstick lace without the broomstick in a chevron version. Really beautiful stitch. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for following me in uh, this crochet adventure. Uh, please subscribe so you won't miss uh, another tutorial of mine. Like if you like my tutorials. Follow me on Facebook and uh, show me photos. Uh, send me photos of what you uh, of your projects inspired by my tutorials. Follow me on Instagram too. And see you at the next tutorial. Bye bye.